everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you want to join me today. Today's video is not super planned or organized. I thought I wanted to talk to you guys about my motivations to stay zero waste, to stay vegan and to generally to keep doing green things. One of the things I get asked the most ever is both online social media and in real life as well is about my motivations to stay zero waste and just to keep pursuing a sustainable lifestyle what people always want to know is there anything i would never give up is there anything i am not changing is there anything i would do unsustainably because i liked it is there any situation where i would favor something other than zero waste you feel um I feel like one of the things that I get asked the most is how often I fail at doing what I do. I know the intention is not necessarily to point towards the failures or the negative right away, but it's just a very, very natural way of thinking. It's a very natural course of response, so to speak. And I wanted to talk to you guys about that because I thought it would be very, very helpful to other people who might find it hard to keep on being motivated to pursue a sustainable lifestyle. So here goes. So what inspires me and motivates me to keep pursuing my sustainable lifestyle more than anything in the entire world is keeping myself updated. I read articles and research papers and I watch documentaries and I expose myself to a lot of the knowledge that, that is really, really uncomfortable to have and is really uncomfortable to listen to and read, but it's very, very necessary. One of the situations where it's easiest to just forget about the overall impact of fast fashion or flying or meat or plastic is when you stop exposing yourself to that information. So if you keep yourself updated, if you keep yourself well informed and educated on these subjects, it's very, very hard to lose your motivation or your interest in this topic. Another thing that I do that keeps me motivated, I can feel it inside my bones every time I've done this, is talking to people with whom I share similar interests. If you're the only person who is zero waste or strives towards a zero waste lifestyle, or if you're, if you're the only person that's vegan, if you're the only person who choose not to fly or not to buy fast fashion, if you take any green actions as the only person you know, it can be so lonely and alienating for you. And when you feel lonely and alienated, if you feel that a longer period of time, you're going to gradually want to not feel that way anymore. And a very natural way of doing so is by abandoning these values and issues that we're concerned with before. So whenever I talk to like-minded people, I feel like this fresh energy, this fresh motivation and engagement, encouragement, and that's really, really important. Sometimes I'm super lucky to find like-minded people in the real world. It really helps whenever I give lectures and workshops and people want to discuss these issues and I love that to bits. But I've also found a great online community where I can talk to other people and I can share my beliefs and opinions. And a lot of the other people that I consider some of my friends now are people I've met online. So it's a really, really important thing, at least for me, because I'm also very social and extroverted. It's really, really important for me that I can reflect myself and my values in people I surround myself with. So if I cannot at all, I will feel slightly discouraged. Another thing that motivates me a lot is talking about my interests and talking about the issues that concerns me. And my interest and what concerns me sort of intertwine, sort of, because plastic is a problem I'm concerned with, but zero waste and plastic for living is one of my interests, you feel? So talking about your interests to people, even though they may not share them completely, can be really, really motivating and encouraging because you get to verbalize your actual opinions. I have friends where I know I should maybe just talk a little bit less about it, I shouldn't bring it up at all. Um, and then I have friends I know are really respectful and considerate and wants to listen and are actually interested in my life and what I'm doing. So try to find those people and those sort of friendships so you can talk about your interests even though they may not share them completely but at least if they want to listen to you that can be a really really good idea to have. Sometimes I also get my motivation from challenging myself to do stuff. If I challenge myself to go a certain amount of days without a 
any trash whatsoever. That is a really, really fun way of sort of re-sparking your energy, re-sparking your motivation. Generally, I also sometimes challenge myself to make a certain dish that I haven't made before and try to veganize it. And the whole experience of doing something for the first time can be really, really helpful if you're sort of feeling like you're stuck and you don't have anything else to do. Um, so yeah, challenging yourself and just keep yourself feeling new and fresh in this lifestyle is actually a huge, huge help. I sort of get bored if I feel like I did everything that I can, and that's also a wrong feeling because a wrong feeling. It's not. It's a. It's a wrong sentiment because you will never, ever, ever be finished with zero waste. As I say, like all the time, there's no finish line in sustainability, so you can always improve. But the feeling of being finished can be there. You feel, and a way to sort of counter that is by doing stuff you haven't done before. Returning briefly to the questions regarding. Is there anything I do unsustainably? Is there anything I would never give up? Is there any situation where I would prioritize something else than zero waste? Um, of course, of course, of course. I talked about in a recent video that it's very, very unhealthy to prescribe value to a certain item or an object by saying I could never give this up because that gives it so much more meaning and value um, instead of saying, I don't know, I mean, I've done great this month and I haven't really had it so that's fine I think it was in context of meat and dairy um, I was talking about this but if you say I could never give up cheese if you keep saying that, that to yourself that becomes your truth and then cheese becomes more powerful than it has any right to be um, so by saying I could never give this up you're prescribing more meaning to something so I, I never say I could never give this up because I know I, I don't freaking know I don't know what I could give up and what I could not so is there anything that I do unsustainably? Yes, of course there is. Sustainability is also a weird sort of measurement because we do expect it to be something that we can trace or measure and really we cannot. We all have an impact on our footprint in some way and we can do our very best to keep that as neutral or as positive as we possibly can. But I do find a great deal of motivation and relief as well in the fact that all lifestyles by default are imperfect or flawed in some way and that's also okay and the fact that no one expects you to be perfect is a really really big thing there are of course people who do expect to be perfect but you can absolutely tell them to go and do stuff to themselves um, because no one is perfect and no one claims to be perfect in that sort of thing if, if they do they are liars yo <laughs> um, but doing the best that you possibly can in the situation you're in is is great and you can always improve and you can always do better. There's no finish line in sustainability and that is my biggest motivation. I hope this made any sense. If it did, leave a comment down below and tell me what your biggest motivations to pursue sustainability are. I would love, love, love to know. And I hope this video made any sort of sense, although it was a little bit unorganized. Ta Have an amazing day guys and see you guys next time. Bye! Thank you so much for watching this video and also a special thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys help me create green zero waste content and I love you guys. You can find the links to my social media accounts down below and the link to my Patreon on this screen. Bye!